Hi guys and welcome to Comics and Chill. Today we are talking about Spider-Man the video game. Ever since I started this channel and I've started rereading all these old Spider-Man comics I love, this game has sprung to mind and I just had to do a video on it. I played this thing over and over and it actually set me on the path to collecting comics and I'll explain how later. But right now let's talk about the game. The story starts with Doc Ock who's claiming to be reformed and he's presenting an invention of his at a science expo. And during the presentation, Peter Parker's there taking pictures, Eddie Brock's there reporting on it. Spider-Man shows up on stage, beats up Doc Ock, steals the machine. Peter runs to spring into action to track this guy down. And the mere sight of this imposter Spider-Man sets Eddie Brock into a rage. He loses control and the Venom symbiote takes him over. Now Spidey's straight on the case trying to figure out who this imposter is. And it leads him across New York, fighting his rogues gallery. He's fighting Scorpion, Rhino, Mysterio, and eventually Venom. There's also a whole bunch of Spider-Man's allies offering him tips and advice along the way. Black Cat, Daredevil, Human Torch, Captain America, Punisher. Spidey eventually has to fight Venom, defeats him, and is able to convince him that the Spider-Man on stage was an imposter and Venom is merely being used as a pawn to distract the real Spider-Man. So Venom and Spidey team up and eventually they track the clues to an underwater base and they discover that, and spoilers, I shouldn't have to say this for a 20 year old game, but they discover that Doc Ock and Carnage have actually teamed up and they've got a weird plan. Their plan involves cloning parts of Carnage's symbiote to infect people across New York with and then using Doc Ock's invention to spread a smog across the city which will give him control over these people and their symbiotes so he can rule them. I don't really know if they intend to rule the whole planet this way or <laughs> what their plan was after they rule over everyone. It's a pretty grand plan, but it's a fun story and a fun game. In the end, of course, there's a big boss battle. Venom takes on Carnage, Spidey takes on Doc Ock. Venom loses, and so after Spidey beats Doc Ock, he takes down Carnage too. And after defeating Carnage, Carnage's symbiote leaks down and merges with Doc Ock creating Monster Ock. And now, as a 10 year old, I thought this was the coolest thing ever. I was obsessed with Venom, Carnage from the cartoon and the symbiote storylines. And I just wanted to see a symbiote on anything. And I know that happens all the time today. Absolute Carnage, hello. So it was a really fun game, played it over and over and over. And one element that I loved was collecting the hidden comics. I think there was 32 in total across the game. So you'd play the game and as you went through, there'd be certain hidden areas with a little comic for you to collect. You'd pick it up and you'd be able to view the cover art of that comic and also read a synopsis of the issue in this gallery menu. And I would pore over these things for hours. I mean, well, first of all, I had to find all the damn things. I didn't really use the internet back then. I didn't really have a guide. <laughs> I had to do it the old fashioned way. And when I got them, I was just getting these little fragments from the synopsis of the story inside each issue, and I really wanted to read them all. At the time, I had no idea where to pick them up, so I was really grateful for this feature in the game, and I felt like I was sort of gaining some secret Spider-Man knowledge that I didn't have prior. There was also a ton of extra costumes that you could unlock. Spider-Man 2099, uh, Spidey's costume he wore with a paper bag over his head to join the Fantastic Four. I think it's either this game or the sequel, Enter Electro, which features the Slingers costumes, the Dusk Spider-Man costume, Prodigy, Ricochet, and the Hornet, I think, is the last one. And I became really interested in those guys, too. There's also a Captain Universe Spider-Man. The game was developed by Neversoft, and that's the studio that made the Tony Hawk series, another huge game from my childhood growing up. And I'm really enjoying playing through the remake of Tony Hawk's 1 and 2 right now. It's a lot of fun. Neversoft even featured a Spider-Man playable character that you could unlock in Tony Hawk's. But yeah, this game is a ton of fun and I, I've really enjoyed watching playthroughs of it recently. Graphically, it's not the worst thing that was around at the time. They did with the best with what they could. And I feel the developers really strived to give you some deep cuts from the Spider-Man universe. And this was prior to any big movies. You know, all of this was really based on the comics. But yeah, I played this thing a million times. You know, I always thought it was kind of strange that Spider-Man could swing out in the city with his webs from the sky. But hey, you take what you can get. 
Also, there was some fun level design, but I really wish that they'd kept it kind of more rooftop or street based. But almost immediately at the beginning of the story, they introduced Doc Ock's smog machine, which eliminates being able to walk at street level and see any other New Yorkers. <laughs> the latter half of the game really takes place in a lot of corridors and underground bases. Probably not the most fun place to be as Spider-Man. The sequel, from what I remember, and I'll do a video on that soon, was based on the same game engine. And it wasn't really until the video games which were attached to the Sam Raimi, Tobey Maguire movies, they started pushing the boundaries of getting the player to be able to really do what Spider-Man would do. And the game for the second movie was fantastic. That's where it really took off. It was like Grand Theft Auto meets Spider-Man. Anyway, it's been a lot of fun looking back over this. I doubt I'm going to rush out and get a PS1 and a copy of this game to replay it, but it was really nice to reminisce. Let me know if you played the game. Let me know what some of your favorite comic book based video games or Spider-Man video games are. And thanks for watching the video. Like and subscribe if you haven't already. Follow us on social media. Tell your friends and have a great day. I'll be back tomorrow.